Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on how to create your own uh, Kona environment in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Data Science Service. My name is uh, jean luc Gauthier. I'm a data scientist and a PM, and I work on the service. And I'm going to show you today how you can create your own Kona environment, con environment from scratch in uh, notebook sessions. So if you've, heard, if you've used notebook sessions in the past, you would see that there's uh, already a list of con environment that are pre-built that you can install in your notebook session. So those are the data science condas, and there's over 20 of them that um, provide a range of coverage in terms of use cases uh, or libraries and, and, and frameworks. Uh, but sometimes you may want to create your own con environment. Uh, there's many reasons why you may want to do that. Perhaps those pre-built uh, con environments that we offer do not include the right libraries or the right library version that you need. Or perhaps you need to install your own preparatory library that you've developed. Or you need uh, different Python runtime versions. All of those are good reasons why you want to create your own uh, con environment. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can do this through the notebook session. And we're going to use the ODSC uh, command line interface to uh, create those con environments. All right, so let me exit this. Uh, I'm going to assume that you have created already a project in the data science service. So I'm going to go to my project here called uh, JR Sandbox. And uh, we're going to open a notebook session that I've already created for this. Uh, this notebook session is um, a filter on active notebook session, new Conda ENV test. That's the one that I want. So we're going to open it. Uh, by the way, when you create your notebook session, uh, make sure that uh, your notebook session has access to the public internet because we're going to be pulling packages from uh, public sites uh, like ConduForge or uh, PyPy. So make sure that you have access to the public internet when you set up the networking for the notebook. All right, so um, this is JupyterLab, uh, familiar interface here. Uh, it comes with two, we have pre-built kernels here, Python 3 and the root kernel. So those are very, very uh, basic kernels with, with very few Python libraries installed. So uh, there's a couple of ways by which you can uh, you know, create con environments or install con environments. So the first one is through the Environment Explorer. So if you click on this uh, tool, um, you will see that there's three buttons here. So let me clear those, those are old values. Um, there's a list of pre-built con environments called data science con environments that you can uh, install in your notebook session. So uh, they, they range in libraries and use cases. Um, so that's the first, the first way that you can um, uh, build and, and install kernels in your notebook session. The other one is by creating your own con environment, and that's what I'm going to show you. So if you want to create your own con environment, the first step is to uh, go back to the launcher tab and launch a terminal window. So we're going to do this, and we're going to use the ODSC CLI. So uh, if you've never heard, of, if you've never used ODSC before, uh, it's very easy to use. Uh, there's different commands. The one that we're going to use here is uh, today is conda. So uh, ODSC conda, and then just do dash dash help to see a list of commands that are available. Uh, so these commands really cover the life cycle of of conda environments. And what we're going to need today is the create command. And so we need first to create a conda compatible environment file, uh, which is that environment.yaml file. Uh, so we're going to use, uh, I'm going to use VI here to create it, but you can use uh, another tool if you want. So uh, uh, JupyterLab actually comes with a, a very easy to use text file editor here. So you can use that to create your YAML file. But I'm going to just use VI today. Um, all right, so the first thing you need to specify is the conda channels uh, that you want to pull libraries from. So in this case, I'm going to simply uh, specify ConduForge, which is a community-driven channel that has a, a bunch of, of libraries and packages available. And then the next thing I need to specify is the dependencies that I want to install. So the list of dependencies that I want to install in my con environment. So uh, I'm just going to install NumPy. Um, pandas, and I'm going to pull them from ConduForge, but I'm also going to install a library from PyPy. So I'm going to specify a pip library 
that I want to install, and this is going to be uh, scikit-learn, uh, and I'm going to set a version for it, uh, lock a version for 0.24.2. So that's how you would specify a list of dependencies you want to install in your custom conda. So you uh, list the channels and dependencies that you want to install. So uh, that's like a bare minimum uh, conda environment file. All right. So once we're done with that, the uh, next step is let's go back to the ODSC conda create command. And I don't know what the uh, arguments are for this. So let's take a look. All right. So what we need here is a uh, the conda compatible environment file and then to provide a name and a version for my con environment here. And I highly recommend that you use ODSC to create your con environment. You can always use the Conda CLI directly, which is available in the notebook session, but uh, ODSC will also create or will also add to your con environment the, the Python libraries that are necessary to run your con environment as a notebook kernel. So there's libraries like IPY kernel or NB on the kernels that are necessary. And uh, ODSC will install those automatically on your BF. So this is quite uh, handy. And uh, ODSC will also create uh, the Conda environment manifest file that you're going to need to be able to browse and list that Conda environment, the environment explorer tool that we just saw a minute ago. So highly recommend you use ODSC Conda to manage the, the Conda environment here. Uh, all right. so. Let's do this. Uh, let's do call DC Conda create. Let's do environment.yaml. I'm going to give it a name, uh, my Conda env. And then version, let's call this 1.0. So you can version your Conda environment. So it's just like you can version uh, your code or other things in the platform. So uh, I'm going to just give it a version 1.0 uh, for my Conda. All right, so let's execute. This is going to take a few minutes to run. Um, so let's wait. All right, looks like we're done here. So we got a uh, successful uh, installation here. Uh, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna do uh, we're gonna next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna confirm that this environment was successfully installed. So the first thing you may want to look at is if you go back to the launcher tab, uh, you should see your con environment showing up as a kernel here. So it's uh, my conda env. Uh, and then we also add the version number to the conda name that you specify here by default. So you should see a kernel here, which is good. And you should also see the same kernel for the console here. So let's verify here that uh, we have the libraries in, in installed uh, in the conda here, just to make sure. So uh, confirm here that we are actually running this uh, this notebook in this particular uh, kernel here, which is good. If you ever have to switch to a different kernel, you can always do it by clicking on the string here, and then you can select a different uh, Conda kernel to launch your notebook in. Um, but uh, we're running the right one here, so what I'm going to do is import. Uh, sorry, I'm going to let the code. I'm going to import the three libraries that we install. So pandas SPD. Uh, import numpy, and import um, sklearn, which is great. Okay, so this cell was executed successfully, so it looks like there's no problem. But let's just print the version of scikit-learn. Because if you remember, in my uh, environment.yaml file, I specify a version of 0.24.2. So uh, this is the version that should show up here, and it does. So this is successful. So this is great. So we have a running con environment that we've created in our notebook session. Now let's take a look at the con explorer tool. As I mentioned before, there's three different tabs here. Uh, one for the pre-built con environments that you can install, the ones for published con environments, and the one for installed conda. So if I refresh here, you should see your conda in this installed con environments list here. Refresh, and I'm going to click on this button, and here you should see uh, your con environment here showing up. So my con environment is there, and it was created a few minutes ago, and has a version 1.0, which is the version I specify when I created it. So it looks all good. So um, 
I've just showed you how you can create a custom con environment in your notebook session using the ODSC CLI uh, command that, that comes uh, installed in your notebook session. So if you want to know more about how you can write the syntax behind the environment.yaml file, I highly recommend that you go and take a look at the Conda documentation. So if you go to uh, Conda IO projects, Conda uh, latest index, if you go to the user guide under tasks and managing, managing environments, uh, creating a con environment from an environment.yaml file, you will see here there's uh, quite a bit of instructions on how you can do this. Uh, there's a section on creating a con environment uh, manually, con environment file manually. So I would highly recommend you take a look at this if you've, if you've never used this before. Uh, all right, so that completes my tutorial on how you create a con environment from scratch uh, using uh, the notebook session feature of the OCI Data Science Service. Um, but before I end this tutorial, um, if you ever want to keep in touch with the service, uh, we have a number of channels that you can follow. So we have our uh, website, oracle.com slash data science, our blog, blogs at oracle.com slash AI and data science. You can also uh, take a look at our tutorials like this one on uh, YouTube. We have a GitHub repo where we collect a whole bunch of notebook examples and, and code samples you can use on the service. And you can follow us on Twitter at Oracle Data Sci. If you want to try the service, you can do it for free. Uh, you can have $300 worth of credit for uh, 30 days uh, using the Oracle uh, free tier account. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you soon.